Today we're going to talk about Jason Day's Golf Barn. You must see it. If you're not familiar with it, no worries. We're here to tell you some crazy fuck. Let's get into it. Also subscribe to this channel for more. Jason Day is a professional golfer from Australia who is a member of the PGA Tour and won the PGA Championship in 2015 as is known as Jason Day. He first reached the top spot in the World Golf Ranking in September 2015 and held it for a period of time, making him a former world number one. Day entered the top 10 for the first time in the global rankings in June of 2011, when he finished in second place in the United States Open. This performance moved him up to the world number 9. Day won his first World Golf Championship in February 2014 at the WGC Accenture Match Play Championship. He went on to win this tournament for a second time in February of 2016. As a result of his victory in the 2016, he became only third player in tournament history to win the WGC match play on two occasions, joining Tiger Woods and Geoff Ogilvie. After that, he went on to win his first major championship at the 2015 PGA Championship, setting a new record with 20 shots under par and moving up to number three on the list of the best golfers in the world. If you were to be traveling through the bucolic countryside of Ohio, you probably wouldn't anticipate to come upon one of the most technologically equipped golf practice facilities on the entire planet. After passing through the private entrance, what you will see in front of you is a golfer's paradise, complete with a 150-yard fairway, huge pudding green, and two target green bordered by bunkers. The grass and sands on the course are native to several major venues. The next thing you notice is what the proprietor refers to as golf barn, which is a stunning, uniquely designed glass-sided two-story home that also functions as a golfing practice facility. This facility is the project of jealousy for many university programs and top courses across the country because it features a full swing simulator, a virtual green, and a gym in addition to a full kitchen and an area for hosting guests and socializing. You arrive at the house where PGA Tour Pro Jason Day lives. Even though he has one of the most desirable backyard practice facilities in the world, coupled with a trophy case that's well stocked, he still fully commits to training on his simulator in order to get the most feedback and be as prepared as possible for competitions. Day believes, I need to do a lot of more great things in golf, and he is determined to do so. And the system that Full Swing uses is the greatest there is. It's incredible how quickly it works, and it happens almost instantly. It really does feel like you are planning in the great outdoors, which is a wonderful thing. That's one of the things that I adore doing, to be able to hit the shot and see it take off and accomplish what it truly supposed to do is without a doubt the nicest thing that could ever happen. The infrared and multi-camera system work together to detect a ball from every aspect and determine exactly what Day is doing with his shots. Whether he is driving, batting, or hitting perfectly straight rockets, Day is quoted as saying, I don't have to question its accuracy. I'm certain that it's accurate. Day enjoys the fact that he can get in all of the reps he needs inside and even practice putting every break that's on tour. Living in the Midwest, with there are only a certain number of days he can practice outside. Day also appreciates that he can get in all the reps he needs inside. This is due to the fact that he was the first tour pro to install Virtual Green, which is an automated and customizable indoor putting green manufactured by Full Swing at his own home. It's not a surprise that Day had his best statistical year of putting ever the year after his Evan had place. I use it all winter long and when it's raining outside in the summer, he says. It's a great investment. I'm able to program angle sequence in any way that I desire, including right, left, up, or down, and with varying degrees of slope all the way up to 18 feet. My backyard is home to some of the world's finest greens, but these are times when I'm unable to access it, and I still have to maintain my sharpness. He also takes pleasure in the fact that he is able to spend what little time he has away from the tour with his family at their house. Because of his, he is going to install the multi-sport program on the simulator for his son so that they can play various sports together such as soccer, football, and other activities. Day, 
who is a gamer himself, linked all of his gaming systems at the same time. To drive home the point, Fullswing is able to tailor the layout to the specific needs, preferences, and constraints of an individual customer. Today's living proof that technology can truly change a home into something much more than it was originally intended to be. Visit Full Swing to find out what benefits it has in store for you. In the area of his short game, Day likens the undulations to those of the Augusta National, a course under which he finished tied for second in 2011. Day became the youngest man to win on any of the PGA Tours three tours when he won the Nationwide Tours Legend Financial Group Classic in July 2007. This was Day's first victory on any of the PGA Tours three tours. The victory moved him up to the ninth place on the money list for the Nationwide Tour. In the end, he finished fifth on the money list, which was good enough to earn him a spot on the PGA Tour for 2008. Even though he had a below average year, he was given conditional status for 2009. Dave was able to save his car for the 2010 season thanks to his second place result at the Puerto Rico Open. He also came in 69th position on the money list. When he won the HP Bar Nelson Championship in May of the 2010, he set a record for being the youngest Australian ever to win a tournament on the PGA Tour. After Greg Norman withdrew from the 2010 Open competition, Jason Day was given the opportunity to compete in his first ever major competition. Day was able to advance further in the tournament and ended up tied for 60th place. Day made his first appearance at the PGA Championship in August of the 2010, and it was then that he shot a 66 on Saturday, which helped him finish the tournament 7 under par for the competition and achieve his first top 10 result in a major. This runoff form continued for Day throughout the FedEx Cup playoff season, during which he finished in the top 5 at both of the first two playoff events to qualify for the Tour Championship which is the last tournament of the season. He would go on to finish tied for 17th at East Lake Golf Club, and he would compete the 2010 PGA Tour season at 21st on the money list. We have high hopes that the magnificent golf facility that Day has created will enable him to get back to playing his best goal. On the PGA Tour in 2021, he competed in 22 events but missed the cut in nine of them and finished in the top 10 only three times. Hope you enjoyed the video. If yes, then hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more unique content. Thank you for watching.